Hi everyone, Sam here from Mad About CNC again. I just figured I should do another short video on the tool changer. I didn't really do it justice in the last video. Um, I just want to show it changing a few more tools uh, so you can get a better idea uh, of how smooth it is. Um, I don't like the idea of it going back to zero every time. Um, but, I mean, I can talk to Masso about that. But anyhow, I'll show you what's going to happen. We'll press start and see what happens here. So it's, it's got to unload the first tool, the tool it had in it. I've actually got it going a bit slower. I've had that X movement a little bit faster than that and it's, and it's fine. So this is the bit I don't like, going back to the original point where it started from. Because in code, when, you, when you're running some code, you don't want it to go back to where it started from because you're usually starting a new profile when you're changing tools. So you want it to go to the start of the new profile, not back to where it stopped. That's just waste time. And then it has to come to zero, machine zero, to start the router and then go back to where it's got to start from. I mean, other than that, it changes tools beautifully. I'm really happy with it. It was quite easy to set up too, by the way. One more. This is a nice big tool that's going to pick up now. I think it's an 80 mil diameter cutter. I use it for milling. I don't like running this one at anything over 12,000. This route is capable of 24,000, but I won't spin that at any more than 12,000. Anyhow, that's it. So I thought, you know, I'd show you it doing more than one tool change. Anyhow, I'll talk to you again soon.